Hey you guys, so we are back with part, girl, this is part 9, 10 of Gray Skies. We ended it off with Aunt Ella's petty sub letting Lamont know who his mother really is. She just so happened and she's really Lamont's mother. And so Lamont is sitting at the table with Uncle Glenn and Aunt Ella and he's looking confused. Because he's like, why is she just not telling me this? Is it because, you know, I'm back home or what's going on? Ella is just looking at him because Lamont is almost in a stage of, a state of shock. And she's like, well, you gonna say anything? And so Glenn is like, Ella, give the boy some time. And Lamont is like, why are you just not telling me this? She said, well, honestly, Lamont, I don't know why. I've been wanting to tell you now for years and... I figured since you came home, you know, right now I will let you know. Ella went into this long story of how she had Lamont at a time where she wasn't married. You know, she was not married to Glenn. She met Glenn, excuse me y'all, she met Glenn um, like a year and a half after she had had Lamont. And since she wasn't married and um, his mother slash aunt at the time was married, they figured Aunt Ella would have the baby, give the baby off to the other sister, and the sister would pretend like um, she actually had had the baby. And uh, unfortunately, though, her husband ended up, you know, leaving her, and she passed away from cancer, you know, when Lamont was like in his early 20s. And so Lamont is, conf <laughs> Lamont is still confused because there's still parts missing from this story. He's not understanding, like, how is this happening and why is this happening now? So Aunt Ella is busy trying to explain herself. That's what Lamont was like, nah, nah, I, I'm not doing this right now. Right, you know, ever since I came to this town, my life has just been going, everything's going down here. You can't blame me for what I did. I made a decision. I was young. I didn't know what to do. He said, no, nah, I'm not just talking about that. So before she could question him more, he storms out, y'all. He gets into his car. He is mad. He is upset. You know, he doesn't know what to think. You know, the secrets, finding out that, you know, apparently Kendra is not as happy as he thought she was. That's when he gets a beep, a notification on his phone. Girl, he looks down on his phone and he does have access to the gambling site and he sees negative two thousand dollars he lost the bid and now he's upset so he says shit real loud and he slams on the brake go through you know pulls up the browser on his phone goes through and submits again for another two thousand dollars so lamont again he's supposed to be on his way headed out of town right on this business trip but he wanted to stop by on ellis to see what she wanted he decides to go ahead and go out of town he's he's done so he's heading out that's when he sees a sign for a bar heading out of town there's a sign he sees a bar on the right hand side he veers off and stops at this bar he's like i'm just gonna have one drink just one drink that's all i need he stops by y'all he heads into the bar he knows his place because again he's from here he heads in and he sees the bartender, someone he knows, old Charlie. That's, that could be his name, old Charlie. He said, hey, Charlie, man, go ahead and just give me a double, man, before I get on the road. And Charlie turns around. He's like, hey, Lamont, you, are you sure, man? He's like, yeah, just a double. So he sits down. He has to drink. That's when he has, he sits down. Old Charlie, uh, pick, fix, old Charlie fix him the double. Y'all, those of you who don't know, if you don't drink, a double is a double shot. So Lamont has a double shot of crown royal <laughs> whatever so he throws it back sets it down that's when he hears a voice behind him that says lamont he turns around and behind him it says high school sweetheart yolanda now y'all yolanda was bad she was bad back in high school and she's still bad so he turns around and he sees her and he's like he looks at her a little bit because in the midst of that little double shot and just angry and upset at the world, child, Lamont is kind of, he's not sure. He knows who the hell she is. I heard you were in town, um, Larry. That's Lamont's little nickname. So he's like, yeah, I've been here for a minute. So she's like, why haven't you called me? 
And he looked at her. He's like, Yolanda, you know I'm married. She said, that's why I heard you married with a baby on the way. But I also heard Miss Nora's nephew has been over your place a while. And so he looked at her and said, who did you hear that from? Lamont, get with it. This is a small town, baby. Everybody knows y'all business. <laughs> so that's what you want to say. She's like, Larry, now you know this is a small town. News gets around. He's like, you know what? I was just headed out. So, you know, maybe I'll catch you when I come back. And she's like, what's the rush? Charlie, go ahead and give him another. He's like, no, no, no. I, I can't do it right now, Yolanda. I'll, I'll, I'll hit you up when I get back. She's like, no, you going to do one right now. And you, we're going to catch up. So he looks at her. He looks at his watch. He figures he probably has another hour or so. Hey, Zach, screw it. I'll, I'll do another. Go ahead, Charlie. Charlie pours him another shot, right? So while this is going on, Kendra and Byron are on the couch dry humping. No. Nope. <laughs> Now, they on the couch still just making out. And after a while, they stop making out and just start talking, y'all. Just start talking, right? And so, fast forward back over to Lamont and Yolanda with her fast ass. He's had now four double shots. Now, he's kind of swirling around getting up. Child, he can't do much of anything. So, that's when Charlie said, you okay, man? He said, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just going to go ahead and... um. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick and then I'll I'll just go ahead and hit the road. So he heads to the bathroom, right, to go use the bathroom. While he's in the bathroom finishing up, <clears throat> washing his hand, he hears the door open. Now y'all, it's late. So really, there really wasn't hardly anybody in the bar, but like less than five people, including including himself and Yolanda. It's Yolanda's feisty ass. She comes in and she pushes up on him and they start going at it. He pushes her into an empty stall. Again, there's nobody around. Pushes her into the empty stall and proceeds to blow her back out. Y'all, I'm sorry. I told y'all 18 and over. That's going on. Back to Kendra and Byron. He said, you know what, Kendra? I have to tell you something. And she's like, yeah. He's like, um, I like you a lot. I like you really a lot, so much to where I'm not willing to do this knowing that you're married. Trust me, I, I want to, but I know it's wrong. And she looks at him and she's like, you know what, Byron, I knew you were a good guy. I, I, and I can respect that. And honestly, I shouldn't be doing this either considering I'm the one that's married. Mind you, Lamont's ass is already pipe down this girl. I can't say what I want to say. He's already piped down this girl. His butt is drunk. He gets in his car. He tries to call Kendra to say, bump it, I'm not going on my business trip. I'm going to go ahead and come back home. But she's not answering. Her cell phone is on the dining room table and it's on, um, it's on silent. So he drives in, still a little hazy, drunk, and he sees Byron's car parked outside. And he's like, what the hell is this shit? So he gets out. He fumbling around with his keys. Walks up the porch. Kendrick can hear the door. You know, and Byron gets up and just proceeds to walk out. Because they know Lamont is coming back in. And so Lamont comes in. He's like, what the hell is going on? And so Byron's like, yeah, yo, man, I was just about to head out. He's like, man, it's midnight. What the hell are you doing up in my house still? So what the hell are you doing up here with my woman? That's when Kendra gets up. She's like, Lamont, you need to calm down. He's like, no, nah, hell no, nah, I'm not coming down. You got this dude up in my house still. It's like, well, he's like, look, I apologize. It won't happen again. He's like, hell no, nah, it won't happen again. That's when Lamont charges after Byron. Mind y'all, Lamont has had a couple of drinks, child. He ain't doing so. They start wrestling back and forth. And Kendra screaming, she's like, get off of him, Lamont. Going back and forth, Byron got him down in a hand. Like he said, man, I'm not trying to hurt you. That's when Kendra and her belly got in the way. When Lamont tried to push Byron off of him, he accidentally pushed Kendra back. Kendra fell back on the side on her belly and hurt herself. That's when both men stopped and looked around at her. And they're like, oh, he's like, oh my God, baby, are you okay? He's like, man, look what the hell you did. He said, you get the hell out of my house. And so now we got to make sure she's okay. So Kendra is on the ground, on the ground, holding her belly. And she's like, I'm okay. I'm all right, y'all. I just, I just need to. So that's when Byron gets over and tries to lift her up. And Lamont still... Lamont's ass is like, get your hand off my woman. He's like, chill. I'm just trying to help her up. And Lamont, and this is Lamont. Baby, are you okay? Are you, are you right? She's like, something's not right. 
she's feeling her stomach. She's like, no, something's not right. Something's not right. Byron is holding her arm, trying to keep her steady. Lamont is like swirling around in his damn head. And she looks up at Byron. Kendra looks up at, at Byron and says, she's like, something's not right. I need to, and that's when she passes out, y'all. She faints. Lamont then is like losing it, screaming, Kendra. Byron's like, this mother, he grabs his phone. He calls 911, right? The ambulance comes, they take Kendra, and they're like, okay, you want to ride with us to Byron? Because they're thinking Byron is the husband. Like, okay, you want to, he's like, no, 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 this is the husband right here. And so the paramedic's like, okay, so Lamont's greasy ass pops up in, in the back of the, um, the ambulance and goes, but Byron is upset now. He's concerned, so he follows them in the ambulance. Get to the hospital, y'all, and Kendra's blood pressure has spiked so high that they are keeping her in the ER in the hospital for observation okay to make sure that her and the baby's okay everything's okay with the baby but she is like I said heart rate and blood pressure is high so they are keeping her in the hospital for a few days Byron is outside waiting Lamont is walking back and forth walking back and forth the ER doctor comes out and says and she looks around and she sees at this time now Aunt Ella sorry Aunt, yeah Aunt Ella Petty's ass has came down with Uncle Glenn. You have Aunt Ella, Uncle Glenn, Byron, and Lamont all in the waiting room, uh, waiting for the ER doctor, right? And so the ER doctor comes out and she's like, okay, who's the father? And Byron points at Lamont down the hallway, pacing back and forth. And when Byron, well, excuse me, when Lamont sees the ER doctor, he runs down. And the ER doctor gives him the news and say everything's okay, but she, you know, we need to keep her here for observation. Um, her heart rate and blood pressure were extremely high and elevated. So, and that's when the ER doctor was like, has she been under a lot of stress? Child, everyone's looking at each other, not really saying anything. But Aunt Ella's like, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> She's like, yeah, you could say that. And the ER doctor said, well, you guys, you know, given Kendra's history, we really need to make sure that in order for her to deliver, in order for her and the baby to remain um, healthy and safe, alleviate her stress at home, okay? And so that's when um, Lamont was like, okay, doctor, thank you so much, I understand. Lamont is there. He makes sure that Kendra's okay. And she's talkative. She's okay, she's fine. And so that's when Kendra goes on to explain. She's like, look, Lamont, I'm sorry. I, I should never have had Byron over. And that's when Lamont was like, it's it's okay, baby. You know, the doctor said we need to make sure that you, you know, remain stress free. So we'll talk about it when we, when you get out of when you get out of here. Of course Lamont don't want to talk about it because like I said, he was up in the bathroom in the bar banging his <laughs> his uh old high school girlfriend. So he ain't got shit to say, right? So all right, y'all, a couple of days go by. Kendra was only in the hospital for like two days. That's it. And they got her out. The baby's okay. Everything's fine. They're just saying, you need to watch it. Matter of fact, if this happens again, we're going to put you on bed rest to where your ass can't be getting up and walking around and, and you know, making out with people. And Ella comes over now every now and then to help Kendra. So Lamont has it in the back of his head that he's going to go ahead and contact Byron and let him know that they don't need him anymore because Aunt Ella is here now. But before he could do it, baby, Byron beat him to it. Byron sent him a text message and was basically like, look, Kendra's under a lot of a lot of stress. I don't want to add to y'all stress. So thank y'all for the, you know, for allowing me to work and help y'all out. But I won't be coming back anymore. Cool. Lamont's thinking like, cool. I ain't got no, nothing to worry about, right? Like I said, Kendra gets home. Aunt Ella now comes over and helps her. Kendra, oh, she doesn't know if she, <laughs> she would rather not have Aunt Ella around, but she helps out anyway, right? They're in the kitchen, and Kendra goes around. She's like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this laundry out of the dryer because Aunt Ella had, was helping with the laundry. And Aunt Ella was like, are you sure, baby? She said, yeah, Aunt Ella, I'm just going to go ahead and put it over. So Kendra is putting the laundry over, right? And piece, some pieces of laundry fall down. And that's when she kind of reaches down and she starts picking up. And she notices something poking out of Lamont's jacket, you know, a uh, pocket of his jacket. And she looks at it. Baby, it's a pair of underwear. A pair of panties and they ain't hot panties because they are size six and Kendra wears maternity pa uh, panties these are not hers y'all she's like she takes those panties in her hand they clean they she goes around the corner she goes around the corner 
to Lamont's office. She doesn't even knock. She opens up the door. She's like, Lamont, what is this? Y'all so, gotta be dramatic. We gonna pretend like this purple uh, uh, sock is these panties she found in, in the dryer. She doesn't even knock. She opens up the door. Lamont asks is at the desk gambling again, right? At Lamont, what the hell is this? Lamont turns around, baby, and he is shocked. All right, y'all, that's part 10.5.